Hi. Hi. Welcome. My name's Steve and today I'm going to be your facilitator. So as you know, at Mont McDonald, we pride ourselves on having the highest standards of health and safety across the board. I know you both don't know what's about to happen next. So I'm going to give you a task now, which is within five minutes, you will have to work together to build this tower. Are you confident? Yeah. Yeah. Please begin. Right, if I do this section here. You do the right, I do the left. There's a brown box in front of the... If you rebuild that right hand side, I'll rebuild the left hand side. Do you need any help? Goes above this blue one. This goes there? Yeah. What? Okay, it's not been five please, minutes. please stop. Don't touch any more blocks until you hear the buzzer because we're going to introduce a few more elements now. Martin, you are no longer allowed to touch any of the boxes. You have to give instructions from behind the curtain. You will also be wearing noise muffling headphones. You now need to put the balls on the floor in the corresponding buckets of their colour. Don't start till you hear the buzzer again. So you have three more minutes. Continue. <laughs> we need a medium brown behind that one. No, I can't see this. Um, let's try and get the balls near to the thing. On top of what? I, our, I can't hear you. Oh, oh my. Purple, is this purple? Oh, I can't see. Are you getting on towards me? What about the purple one? Keep going. Okay, well done. If you could please stop and please just join me in the middle, that would be really appreciated. So how did you find that? Frustrating. Extremely uncomfortable. Not being able to ask questions and communicate was really hard. How do you think something like that in a real world environment at Mock McDonald could impact health and safety? The, the main thing I felt was just completely overwhelmed. When you're overwhelmed and you can't think straight, I think the issues there is that accidents could happen. The last thing in your mind is actually about safety and also felt that quality was compromised. And are you confident if situations like that occurred at Mont McDonald, you'd be able to spot them? Yeah, yeah, pretty quickly. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Well, it's pretty obvious when lights start flashing, I think that's a warning. I'm now going to ask you just to go to the red box down there, please, and there'll be a letter inside. Dear Brenda and Ben. Dear Our and Martin. Dear Liz and Valeria. Several years ago, I was working for Mott McDonald in the Middle East as an advisory consultant. During this time, I began to take on more responsibilities and with it, more pressure. At some point, this pressure turned into anxiety. Every little task began to feel like a crisis and every little problem felt like a catastrophe. Just like you were overwhelmed with all the other tasks you had to do, I too felt like I was getting overwhelmed with a mountain of problems. Believe it or not, even the smallest things like fixing an invoice would keep me up at night. I felt like I was putting up a wall between myself and my colleagues. I genuinely thought a lot of the challenges were small and silly and not worth sharing with others. I began to feel isolated very quickly. Everything got too much and it ended with me having a panic attack at work and fainting. The challenge you just went through was inspired by my experiences of anxiety and the panic attack I had at work. Although invisible, these mental health issues can often be just as real, just as scary, and just as obstructive to our daily work as anything else. But thanks to my amazing colleagues, my family, and the professional help offered by Mort McDonald, I'm in a good place, and now I want to share these experiences in the hopes that others going through a similar experience can feel encouraged to reach out to get help. Sincerely, Steve. So that challenge was meant to represent that crisis feeling you get, that slightly overwhelming feeling at the end. I felt that pretty much for every task. I think you probably saw how I found it. Yeah, I'm unexpected, I suppose, in having you know, met you and spoken to you that that happened. And I think that's probably one of the messages for me. We can kind of battle through without people realising that these things are going on in, on the inside. Which is why there was a question earlier about maybe spotting some of the issues. It's, 
so hard to spot it if people are trying to hide it. I think we really need to be aware of the physical impacts of, of mental health and, and the effect that can have, not just in the office, but out on our construction sites as well. Not being able to say something initially or not feeling like you could, that's something that we need to get over collectively. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for sharing.